Hi, it's Dave again. Let's uh, today we're going to be doing a 12-inch round, putting down my uh, tillow paint at this point, which is the Glitten Essentials you saw at the earlier part. Spin it out just a little bit, see if I can get to spread out. I think I didn't put a, really enough paint down on this, so later on I'll have to add some to the sides. Okay, today we're going to be doing a spatula uh, swipe, and I'm putting down now the my. Uh, my dark uh, uh, cell uh, activator now my titanium white activator and I'm going to start laying down my darker colors uh, for the first swipe the first one is sapphire that's a deco arts extreme sheen second is uh, amethyst which is a also a deco art extreme sheen uh, third one is Lemon Line, and that's by Porridge Posse. Great paint. Amazing. And a little bit more of the amethyst. Here we go. Flip it over and see if we can get some cells going on here. While we're waiting for this to happen, uh, I'm going to wipe off my tool and now lay down the white activator down, which is titanium white with four parts of Floatrol. Now, the dark ac activator here, which I didn't say last time, is Sapphire, again, with four parts, uh, uh, Australian float Floatrol. That's what helps make those, uh, those cells that I'm looking for. Okay, now the first color I'm putting down, a little bit more of the lemon lime, because I love that color. And next up is magenta, which is my own mix. It's a combination of uh, Liquitex and Golden. Last but not least is the Ore. It's a gold uh, pigment. And a little bit of titanium white, just the regular paint. Now, give it a little bit of a, a, little bit of a swipe there and wait for the, uh, the cells to start activating. Okay, do a little bit of fussing around here, see if I can get some things to spread out a little bit. Notice that my dark swipe, it didn't start selling up immediately, so I'm going to do some work with that. thought if I blew on it, I could get, get some things to open up. I think my activators were just a little bit, a uh, little bit off today. Cells are great, but I just uh, wasn't happy with them, so I picked up my straw and to try to get some so the, the underpaints to start popping through a little bit more, which they do. I'm doing some minor uh, modifications here. I call them my pre-modifications, so I can start getting a little bit of the flow. Everything you do at this stage before you before you spin it out is going to be exaggerated after you spin. Now we're spinning. You can see my cells have started to open up, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that at this point. I'm going to do quite a bit of modifications here, trying to keep with the flow of what's already there. You'll see that I pretty much try to keep the uh, the things organic. At least that's my goal. I really enjoy putting the swirls into the middle and to in encourage something that may not be there but I see in my head. This part of the process is the most creative for me. It's working with what's there and enhancing it. I'm getting pretty close to being done with this. I think I've got a little bit more to do. 
I'm on the dance floor, and baby, show me all your moves, all your grooves. The contrast of the light colors to the dark colors of this have a real yin yang to it. And I think the final product definitely shows that. Okay, I think we're pretty much close to being done. And I'm going to clean up a little bit and come down for the flyover. And I'm really enjoying the cells that I'm seeing with this one. And especially the difference in between the dark areas and the lighter ones. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you could set, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications of videos. It's my goal to put out three videos per week. And I really appreciate you stopping by. Bye now.